Our weekend homework topic is what we're going to get into here first. What is the most awkward moment or experience that you've had with one of your parents? Mm. Not just a parent. Okay. Your parent. Right. It's different. I think we've all had awkward moments sure. with a parent. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think that could even be more awkward. Yeah. My buddy Joe, <laughs> his, uh, you know, mom, single mom, and uh, she was she was nuts. Nice lady, but she uh, was crazy. Uh, yeah. And uh, her body massager went missing, <laughs> and she was, like, yelling and screaming at my buddy Joe's sister while he and I were standing right mm-hmm. there. Ah. And uh, I just remember the sister going, Mom, I did not steal your masturbator. Wow. <laughs> and we're like, wow. And so my buddy, he wanted to die because it's of his course. mom. Sure. It's, in it's front his, of his sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, where's my vibe? She goes, it's about this big. It's green. It was one of those that you would get wow. like, yeah. at the sharper image that uh-huh. had like um, like the big round circular top on it. And it was yep. just a big long so it was for your quote back. Yep. Sure. So you can get down uh-huh. like on your back or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But she had it, I guess, in her nightstand along with a bunch of these Harlequin romance Heck novel yeah. things oh, or whatever. Wow. So yeah. and she was fat and she was gross and she was just Oh uh, Okay. Go, right. The sister it's, totally took it. Yeah. I don't know, but she you had don't a, just lose that. Yeah. Somebody yeah, that doesn't it. go missing. Yeah, that doesn't and, get up and walk away. And, yeah, and my friend and I certainly didn't touch it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> didn't even go oh, in hell there. No. <laughs> yeah, that's they, pretty awkward. They got robbed. Yeah, so that's that's an experience <laughs> with, with a parent. A For parent. me, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. like that's something my buddy could have called it with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. For sure. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Uh, some people on the After Hours voicemail over the weekend leaving their comments. When I was living at home at 17 years old, I came out. Uh, in the living room in the morning and caught my dad and my uh, stepmom, I guess you might say uh, doggy style, and um, it's pretty awkward, and especially since she's nothing uh, to look at. She was quite a dog, so anyways. <laughs> wow, jeez. Well, Jeez. appropriate position what? then. Wow. What well, about yeah, if she face. was good looking? Like, <laughs> right, then it would be hot. Does, le- does that matter? <laughs> I think it depends. Then you're joing? <laughs> then like, you're joing because you see your dad? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, well, what? yeah, the, the, da- the dad part, sure. Um, but like when it comes to stepmoms, I think it depends on when the stepmom enters the picture. Like my stepmom's been around since I was a little kid, uh, you know? And so that's very different. Like if you're still seeing your dad in I'm a not, sexual act. I, no, no, no. <laughs> I understand that. I said, I understand the dad part. Let's take the dad part out of it for one second. There's a lot of this stepmother porn stuff. that's super popular for some reason. Right. I don't get it because again, my perspective is my stepmom's been around since I was a little kid. Now, let's just say you're an adult, your dad gets remarried, mm-hmm. and the new stepmom is hot. <laughs> okay. And young. Is it still weird? This Th- is still- Just because it's a stepmom? Um, this is not the situation. Yeah, you're I taking understand. us yeah, you're away taking from the bit. Of, yeah. I, I'm okay. on a tangent that, here. Right. Guys, I understand what you're saying. Hear what well, I'm asking. Wait, <laughs> uh, a good-looking woman yeah, you yeah. might find attractive? Yes. But I'm saying- Easy answer right there. <laughs> does it change because it's your stepmom? No. And um, she's like- your dad's wife. <laughs> I, that's not in, the situation. In that scenario, it's Menace, different. I'm getting. It's different in that scenario. I know, but we just launched a brand new bit, and now we're already tangenting. I'm just, yeah. We, yeah, I'm, do Tangents I'm, are fun. Yeah, exactly. If, Curious. If my dad, who is now in his early 80s, remarried some young hot chick, and I thought she was hot, yeah. it just because she's my stepmom is the question, I think it's totally different. Uh, 626, awkward moment with my dad was when he was talking to me about sex. I was 35. I'd been married for two years already. It was so <laughs> random and so awkward. Yeah, weird. That's what? from uh, that's from Alex. He, I, I think his dad probably thought his wife was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, his daughter-in-law. Yeah, such a oh, looker. Yeah, tell, yeah. Me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tell me more about it, son. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Anna here on line number one. Good morning, hey, Anna. 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 Hey. Hi. All right. So most awkward moment or experience that you've had with one of your parents. So I had for the first time made friends in high school and really wanted to bring them over to hang out. And it was this very big deal. And my mother was tanning on our deck and <laughs> forgot, quote unquote, to put a shirt on. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Oh. Nice. And I never had any more friends over after that. Yeah. <laughs> was this really? a uh, was this a girlfriend or a guy friend? 
a whole mix. Just a bunch oh, of friends. A bunch of guy friends. friends loved it. Okay. <laughs> of course. They should have come over more often. Yeah, it's like Steph was mom. Right. They they asked, and I said no. Yeah, right. oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah we're not quite sure what we're going to walk into over there. Oh, I forgot my shirt. Yeah. All right, Anna, thank you for the call. Appreciate it. to the Woody Show. <laughs> All right, what is the most awkward moment you've had with one of your parents? Let's say hello to Bryce. Good morning, Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Hello, Bryce. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so uh, All right. what is it for you? So in high school, our school hired a nurse to give out sports physicals to yeah. the sports teams. The turn your head turns and cough out is my yeah. best friend's mom. Oh, oh no! Nice. nice. <laughs> she was a bag handler. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Nice. What she, she give me? Immediately called him and said, uh, "Hey, your mom just touched my ball." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah she's, she's done that a lot. Yeah. Yep. You know, I'll be calling her later yeah. tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, Bryce. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Yep. Yeah. Do they still do those? The uh, cop check. I highly doubt they. I'm still wondering do if that. that's like uh, something that's now considered way. not cool. Yeah, I'm sure they. Yeah, do that. I I would assume if you're going to play sports, you have to have a professional physical right. at yeah. your doctor. There's no way. Like, you just don't do that at school with the school nurse? No. I, no. no, I don't no, no. remember doing anything with the school nurse. Do you uh, Do you remember when they would do lice checks? Yes. Yeah. Remember totally. Those? Mm-hmm. They'd totally. line everybody up in the hallway, and then, like, Check one by one, they went yeah. into, like, the nurse's office, and they just, I you know. I remember that. Yeah. But They're for still qualified for that. Yeah. But yeah. some reason, I was naked when I did it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and they, all, they <laughs> also the grabbed my bag. check, I remember <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It'd like bend over and touch your toes. They'd make sure your spine was in alignment. Uh, yeah. I don't like, remember that. They didn't have like some goofy S shaped right. spine. Right. Still can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> right. They think yeah. you have you it. You got scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, my in laws, they were living out of town. My, uh, and they, they kept the house where they were. And then my, my wife and her college roommate, they were basically staying there with her brother while my in laws were working out of town for six months or whatever. Okay. So they came home, and uh, it was just for a weekend, like, visit or whatever. And I, they let the dog out, and the dog was, like, uh, acting weird. And then when my wife got home, my mother-in-law walks up to my wife and goes, Jennifer. <laughs> Nicholas was the dog. Jennifer. Nicholas. Nicholas pooped out a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this is our friend Tony the Whipping Boy. Oh, yeah. Tony the Whipping Boy, I don't know what he did with his condom. <laughs> but uh, you know he was uh, he but, was banging the roommate. But Nicholas got <laughs> and a hold Nicholas of it. got a hold of it, <laughs> ate it, and then pooped out in the yard. And oh. my wife had to have this awkward conversation with her mom. Oh, and she <laughs> swears. And by the way, because we are friends with the other couple to mm-hmm. this day, uh-huh. uh, I know for a fact that it was his. <laughs> yeah, because oh, yeah. I told my wife like, no way that you know that was yours. Yeah, <laughs> but you just have to tell your mom. Oh nope, not no, my cigarettes. Not I'm holding them for somebody right. else. Oh yeah, as you do. <laughs> and that's what you do. Oh. <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer. Nicholas <laughs> pooped down a balloon. <laughs> How can dogs be so awesome and cute and yeah. yet so disgusting? Yeah, dogs eat uh, cat oh. turds out oh. of the cat box and stuff. Like it's oh. nothing. Yeah. Like they found a truffle. And yeah. by the way, the dog's name is Nicholas? Nicholas. <laughs> right? Yeah. Such a human name. Well, there's a lot of people I know that have uh, human names for their dogs. Yeah. True. I, know I mean, uh, that's Lily the first Nicholas. Lives on my property. Yeah. I mean, Ooh. my dog's name is Cassie. Cassie's a human mm-hmm. name. Nah, well, but yeah, there's sure. a ton of dogs. But it's not Cassie. Cassandra. Like no. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Margaret. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ravy, most awkward moment or experience? Most awkward. I've had a bunch. Um, Remember that time I told you there was this guy that came up to me right in front of my dad and asked me out at the bank. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and there was my dad just like standing right behind this guy and was like, you are not going to say yes to this. So I didn't, even though I might have enjoyed have. Really? going bank out with guy. him. Wow. Yeah, bank dude. But because my dad was there with arms folded and anger face, couldn't couldn't so, say couldn't say yes. Did you know this guy or just some rando dude? Total random guy really? really? asking me out at the bank. Huh. He could have been your husband. Now. Did you could have get in a fight with your dad later and say why are you see blocking? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we did not get in a fight or discuss it afterwards. I could have got some. Yeah. You hate and her. You know, Woody, like, if I die here today, right. you have a job. and yeah, you have to clean out the house of all the toys. Right, yeah. exactly. That'll take a whole weekend. And I that's know. because yep. my mom found one once when I was probably a senior in high school. Yeah. And that led to an extended talk about masturbation, which was very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and then that led to 
Okay, well, if you're doing this, you must be having sex. And let me tell you, if you're having sex and you get pregnant, you're having that baby and you're giving it up for adoption. Like, that was <laughs> oh the plan. That was it, all right. That's I was rough. like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pat. Yeah. Poor Pat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's all yeah. for her. She had to put you in line. Uh, <laughs> maybe actually slur. does have some uh, money set aside because I'm going to have to hire Got Junk. Get it. <laughs> yeah. To come out there. With multiple yeah, trucks. And it's yeah. not fair to make money pay for that. And yeah. they're yeah. just, yeah. they're expensive. They are we have expensive. unnecessarily expensive. <laughs> It'll be like an episode of Hoarders. I know. Yeah. And then Woody calls. He goes, Give me the biggest truck you got. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're taking it out there by the wheelbarrow alone. Yeah. 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 Uh, Greg Gorey. I've had so many, one similar, not quite similar to Ravy's, but I found, you know how when you're a kid, for some reason you find random porn? <laughs> I found this porno magazine, but it was cartoon-ish. It wasn't like anime. Actual pictures? Okay. Yeah, but it was like Drawing. drawings, and they were all like really weird sex cartoons, and I had it underneath, you know, I'm a big fan of the desk blotter. I had it under my <laughs> desk blotter, and I guess my mom went to clean my room, found it, and didn't tell me about it. She just laid it on top of oh, my desk. Oh, yeah. As if, no. as that was a, a par parental move. As oh, no. say, like, I, we're not going to talk about this. this, but I know. I'm letting you right. know I found it. Yeah. And then the other one happened via mail. I sent my parents a letter when I was in college to make sure that it arrived on April 1st. And it was an April Fool's le uh, joke. But I did this long story about how I dropped out of college and didn't have the nerve to tell them and that I had been faking going to college <laughs> and all the money they gave me for college I already spent. <laughs> My parents both started crying and they were so devastated and at the very end of the letter in tiny letters I wrote April Fools. They to this day are still upset by that. <laughs> And it is so awkward when they bring it up. And they bring it up still. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah. It like, well, if he would have destroyed them. Did they make it all the way through the letter? Oh, yeah. And so they knew and once while, they got to that. that and while that my April dad Fools. called me and said, I want you to know that while we were reading your letter, your mother was hysterically crying. Oh, why did he drop out of college and he lied to us? <laughs> oh, it was probably the meanest thing I've ever done. Wow. And, the, and, and that was your friend's story, right? Didn't your didn't you have a friend oh, that did that? Uh -huh. And that's where my inspiration was because right. we they had a real they have friends whose son did fake going to college for yeah. four years and took the parents and money took all their money. Yeah, oh my God. so I kind of learned from that and said yeah. I had done the same. Wow. <laughs> oh, they're still pissed. Still so mad. the uh, the coming out conversation was that like a uh, top three? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, that was going to be probably number one. Number one. That's okay. not all easy, right. but. It's not really a fun story. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm saying, but like, was that, I don't know. Um, some people have a different experience. No, it was, yeah. Some it was, people are super awkward. Other ones are, you know. Super supportive. Super supportive. Happy. Basically, I only came out to my mom and I told her, tell dad. <laughs> 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 and he didn't talk to me for a month. Yeah. Yeah. Gregory, uh, I heard you like penis. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's go to uh, Savannah. Hey, good morning, Savannah. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. What morning. was the uh, most awkward moment that you've had with a parent? So when I was 22 years old, I was having a conversation with my dad about potentially having kids. And I told him that I'm not even worried about that. I'm still a virgin. That's later down the road. So the next day, we're at church. He's a deacon. He's doing the morning prayer, devotion, all that good stuff. And he, we usually do praise reports. So his praise report was me, him being proud of me still being a virgin, and he announces that to the whole oh, entire oh, church. Nice. Oh, Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And so I'm in, the back with, <laughs> I'm in the back of the church with my friends, just totally <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, Dad. I needed that to start off my day. Thank you so much. Well, Savannah, was so it even was true, a, or is that just something you told your dad? Were you actually uh, a virgin? No. No, yeah, I was a virgin. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 23. Wow. Okay, good for you. It's more willpower yeah, than so most of yeah. sure. It was a fun little moment with my dad. Oh, he was so proud. Yeah. He was so of proud. His virginal daughter. Yeah, that's right. He was All shouting right. you out. Savannah, thank you so much for the call. Appreciate yeah. you listening to the Woody From Show. From the pulpit. That's Shout right. out. Yeah. Shout out to my virgin daughter. Yeah. yeah.